Hi everybody, Debbie from Stamp On It. This is a product review or preview on 11 of our new Vintage Hues acetates coming out. Now, depending on when you are watching this, if you're watching it once it's out, uh, freshly out, it will they'll be new. If you're just watching it later, um, they you know won't be new, but they're, I'm gonna show you some samples that we have made with some of these vintage hues and um, give you some inspiration and hopefully some ideas. So let's get started here. First of all, this sheet is, and I'm gonna move fairly quickly through this. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, um, you can always email us right off our website. I'm gonna show you some samples of each one that we have made. So this one is Birthday Greetings 4. Four different shapes, fits, coordinates with our rectangle overlay. If you want to frame, you do not need to frame. And I'm not gonna show you um, all the techniques and how things are done with this because I want this more to be showing you what's new versus going through in detail um, each of the samples. But I am gonna show them and just mention a couple things about them as we go through. These samples are on our website. If you go to all of the 11 new uh, product items, you'll be able to see those samples that coordinate with them, okay? So first of all, birthday greetings four, and here's one that was made with the rectangle overlay, which is what fits this particular sheet. Our overlays are sold separately, and you'll see those on our site as well. This one is great for um, birthday and just really has a soothing, comforting message to bring. So here's two samples that were made with this one. I'll hold these up. This has an embossing folder with our lava cardstock gold. And behind here, the glittery part is our glitter film, which is also on our website. And you'll see those links from these products. This one has crystal glitter on the back side. another technique that we do with our vintage hues. These stickers are colored with Copics or any permanent or alcohol-based markers. They started out white and we colored them, we custom colored them. That's also on our website. All right, so that is birthday greetings four. Now I'm gonna try to do this with the least amount of disaster. And here, I gotta steal this cardstock back. I should leave that lay right there for you. Here is birthday greetings five, also four rectangles and fits again our rectangle overlay. And here's some samples made with this one. This particular one has our glue drops with crystal yellow, light yellow, I believe it is, glitter. And again, a rectangle overlay run through an embossing folder before we used it. It's really a fun thing to do and it just gives it a whole new look. So very nice there. And this one, the black overlay. And the glitter again behind here is glitter film. Custom colored the stickers again to coordinate with the overlay or the, the vintage hue. And if you um, don't have permanent markers, we got a really nice in set on our website. It's not expensive, it's inexpensive. It's a permanent marker set, works great for coloring your stickers. And as always, start with white if you can, or silver is great too. All right, so that one is birthday greetings five. All right, and I'll leave the cardstock there. That one. And here is following in order birthday greetings six. At least I got that part right. Here is two samples using this one. We'll start with this one. This one's one of my favorites. This is put onto the cardstock without a frame, which is very easy to do. You can simply mount these with uh, glue drops, crystal lacquer on the back side, that type of thing. And I believe she did put some crystal glitter behind here. Let's see. I don't have the instructions on this one. For some reason she missed it on there. But I'm pretty sure that one has crystal glitter on the back of it. Also this piece back here is actually an overlay. She ran it through the um, embossing folder and instead of using it as a frame she used it as a layer behind it. So this lays perfectly over top of the overlay. Okay, really neat. This one is fun. I love this one. Happy birthday to you with the notes. Multicolored the stickers again using permanent or alcohol based. 
and a little bit of crystal glitter on the back side. She popped it up, made it dimensional with some foam mounting tape on behind here. So it just gave it a little bump. Okay. That is birthday greeting six. All right, put that one aside. And I'm not going in any particular order, so if I kind of seem chaotic, I apologize. But these are all found on our website, and I'm going to tell you the names as I go through, so in case that I'm just jumping all over, you'll be able to find them. This one is Happy Day Squares. Happy Day Squares. It has three different images, squares, coordinates with our large square overlay if you want to frame. Two of each, so there's six total. Here's two samples. This one is the mouse, a little note from me to you. Enjoy your day, whatever you do. Happy birthday. And that could be a lot, it could be happy birthday, but you also could use it just as thoughts of you, thinking of you, you know, that type of thing. Again, stickers are custom colored. Bumped up some layers here with some foam tape again. This has glitter film behind it. Also bumped up the overlay with foam tape behind there. If you can see that. This one is the bees sending happy thoughts and a little sunshine. Boy, we all could use a little sunshine sometimes. I love this one in particular because of how she used the order stickers. These are just straight lines and she custom colored them again with marker, black and yellow to coordinate with the bee. The bee and the sun have crystal glitter behind it just to pop it up. Give it a little pizzazz if you can see that. It's very well done. Beautiful. Added some color in the corners and some foam tape. Love the foam tape. It just gives everything a little pop. So that one is Happy Day Squares. Great for sending out those happy messages. We could really use those. Can never have too many happy messages. So much things that are not happy. All right, this one is called Good Morning. And this is wonderful, I think, for just another positive start to a day. And I'll lay the samples here a minute, and we'll go through them just quickly. All right, Good Morning is again four on a sheet, four different ones on this sheet. Coordinates with our uh, rectangle overlay. Here is the first one I want to show you, Good Morning Mouse. It says, Good Morning, hope your day is a good one. Again, has glitter film behind it to give it a little pizzazz. No frame. It's mounted to the cardstock, and that is mounted. You can mount it with, if you want to pop it up, you could put some foam behind it. On this one, she just put um, adhesive behind it. Okay, good morning. And this good morning is the kitty. I love the kitty in the basket. Kitty's in the basket. Thinking of you, this one too is built somewhat the same as the good morning mouse. Has the glitter film behind it some squ um, corner squares and she popped this one up with glue drops some dimensional glue drops behind this layer okay our glue drops are wonderful for making dimensional artwork they're also nice to make um, those glittery embellishments here is good morning enjoy your day gotta love this one he's just fun this is great for kids too. The, the eyes have glitter behind it. Just our crystal glitter really pops his eyes. You can see that, isn't that cool? And then again, she custom colored the stickers to match the dog. And he's popped up, the whole piece is popped up on the front of the card with foam tape. Good morning, enjoy your day. So this one is called Good Morning and three samples all right so next we have we're still in the positive thoughts that's great it's good here is friends one and there's a couple of samples using it I love the teapot in this one too this one is fantastic and very well done she used a little bit of crystal glitter on the back side very nicely accented Crystal lacquer is a good adhesive. Um, our glittering glue, anything that's dimensional clear will work, but the crystal glitter of ours is, 
is um, no color of its own, so it only picks up on the color that you put it behind. So it just enhances those colors very nicely. And then she popped the whole layer up with some foam tape again and white corners. Then we have the Daisy. A friend is one who strengthens you with prayers, blesses you with love, encourages you with hope. A sweet friendship refreshes the soul. That is so awesome. And again, this one, she popped up with a whole layer with foam tape, but I really love how she accented the little daisies with a little bit of crystal clear glitter behind. Very nicely done. Framed it with border sticker. Very simple, but very effective. Nicely done. And that one is Friends 1. Four, four images, coordinate with the rectangle overlays if you want to frame two of each image. All right, then we have one of my absolute favorites, Animals of the Wild 2. We have an, a Wild 1, and this is Wild 2. And check out these cool samples. These are fantastic. This is great for kids of all ages, masculine, anybody really, but just really touches on those um, teenagers too and, and masculine cards. It's always hard to find masculine images. This one is uh, four images, and again, they coordinate best with the rectangle, but as you can see here, the fox, because there's no square to it, it works very well with the over, over, oval, oval overlay, it's a tongue twister. And on this one, she added some uh, crystal glitter behind the fox just to pop up some of his outline because he's, he's a little on the soft side, but very, very nicely done with the crystal glitter. Just makes it look good. Copper stickers to match his copper coat. And then the whole part is, the whole layer is popped up with foam tape. Very nice. This is one of my absolute favorites, the Lion Cub. Congratulations, how cool is that? This is, the card front is lava cardstock. Overlay is rectangle has glitter film behind him so it just makes him just softens him and gives him a little bit of sheen popped up on the front with foam tape border around the rectangle is a border sticker congratulations very nicely done very effective here is one of my favorites too our celebrate gorgeous the blues in this image are fantastic yeah the wolf is awesome and the stickers are again are color coordinated to the color of the overlay or the vintage hue colored white stickers with blue use a permanent marker or alcohol based here is the leopard black overlay frames it very nicely really builds it up with the gold stickers on the black overlay just makes him very stately very elegant just yeah and behind this, she put uh, double stick adhesive and added some of our glitters, embossing powders, and gold leafing. And we do have a video on our website or our YouTube channel showing that technique. So it's double-sided adhesive that's on the back side. And then she sprinkled on those items to just pop. Check that video out too. Very nicely done. Foam tape to pop it up. Great job on that one. One of my favorite sheets, Animals of the Wild 2. All right, moving on here. And we are going to go into just some humor. Let's get some humor in here. This one is called, let's do number one first. Go in order at least, right? Minion Opinions 1. These are great. Love the little quirky sayings. And I have a couple of samples here done up. This is just great to make somebody laugh. We can all use a laugh, just a chuckle. This one says, remember when you could refer to your knees as right and left instead of good and bad? Ah, the good times, eh? And she made this into just a note. These fit with our square, our large square overlays. Um, this one she made into horizontal. This one she did vertical, just gives you a little difference on the layout. This one is black stickers accented with yellow marker to match the minion. Very nicely done. She has a little glob on the back side of the vintage hue of crystal lacquer on his um, mask, I think you'd say that is, but it makes it really look like 
a glass mask. So that's cool. This one is Celebrate. And it says, I've decided I'm not old. I'm 25 plus shipping and handling. <laughs> Great job. Um, framed with the large overlay and then white stickers on there just to accent and pick up on the made minion. So that's really cute. The other one in here is, remember when people had diaries and got mad when someone read them? Now they put everything online and get mad when people don't. Ah, so true. Ah, for the good old days, huh? So that is Minion, Minion Opinion Squares 1. A little chuckle there. And here's Minion Opinion Squares 2. And a couple samples of this one. Show these to you real quick here. This one says, My dentist told me I need a crown. I was like, I know, right? Ah, uh, life is good. She did a really great job on this. Accented a little crystal lacquer behind the minion in certain spots there. Added some color to the corner stickers to coordinate. Layered up. Nice job. This one is with a black large square overlay. Glitter film behind and it says, I know every day is a gift, but where are the receipts for Mondays? I want to return it for another Friday. Very nice. All right. This one, she also put some stickers here, borders around the overlay, just to accent it, and then foam tape to pop it up. The other one on this sheet, Minion Opinion Squares 2, says, Have you ever had one of those days when you're holding a stick and everybody looks like a pinata? <laughs> oh, I love that. <clears throat> Not that I've had one of those, any of those days, but, you know. All right, a couple more here and we'll wrap this up. Back to some seriousness here. Encouragement one. This is again really a beautifully done samples and layouts of this sheet. This sheet has four, and again it fits our rectangle overlay, two of each. And this one is without a frame, and she popped it up on the edges or in the corners with a glue drop, one of our bigger glue drops. On the back side of this, she put glitter. Uh, crystal glitter just to accent the roses and some of the flowers in the vine. Around the edge of the card she put um, border. Very nicely done. With sympathy. And this says, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face daily. Psalm 105 verse 4. Very nice. And this one, absolutely stunning. The card front is our black lava cardstock. If you can see that, just really beautiful. And she framed it with a white rectangle overlay run through an embossing folder. And I actually think this might be a piercing folder. We are getting in a line of folders, 3D folders, um, hopefully some piercing folders. Check back, but it might already be on our site too. I don't think they're live yet, but um, depending on when you're seeing this video, check it out. This is the when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Psalm 61 verse 2. Just a really nice uplifting saying verse from the Bible taken from Psalm 61 and behind here she has a little crystal glitter just to pop that up give it a little um, dimension and just a, a accent. Just beautiful. I hope you can see how beautiful that looks absolutely stunning. The whole of this layer, the overlay and the acetate is bumped up with foam tape again just to give it some dimension. Very nice. Nice work. And that is Encouragements 1. And I believe, last but not least, is Encouragements 2. One of my favorites also. And I only have one sample of this. Ran out of time, but wanted to show it to you. This one again is four rectangle shapes, um, two different images, two of each. And this one, it says, it takes a lot of courage to push through hard times. Never give up. Good things are coming your way. Just a nice uplifting encouragement. We need that. And this one, she used a black overlay, rectangle, just added some border around it. And the corners are again, just borders and just cut she cut them just their flat strips to create a nice corner 
look for those and popped up the layer with foam tape again. Just really nice glitter film behind. If you need any, um, you know, inspiration or help with some of our techniques, check out our other videos and you will see that um, a lot of the techniques are on there. If you have questions, email us. This one also has in the, the top corner here is good things come to those who believe, better things come to those who are patient, and the best things come to those who don't give up. What a great saying. I love it. So that is encouragements to Vintage Hues. And that is the end of this video. The 11 new Vintage Hues for spring 2021. We hope you have enjoyed this and take a look at our website. I think you'll like them. Thank you.